Hello guys, uh, this is Navin Dwiti. In this video, we'll talk about how to call a private method. So what I have here is I have a method which is show, which is a public now. So if I make it private, so let me make this method as private. So in order to call this method, so can we call a private method? Of course not, right? So in, as, as per Java convention, we cannot call the private methods from outside the class. So we can call a private methods from inside the class, right? But let's say I have another class which is reflection demo here. And from this class, I want to call this uh, show method. So for that, we need to use something called as a reflection API. So we have reflection API. So reflection API is a part of Java in which you can get the uh, you know, if you want to know the behavior of a class, if you want to know the fields of a class, if you want to know the class, the dot class file is an interface or a class file, you can or you can verify all these things using reflection API. So basically, we can use reflection API for testing. We can use for different different purposes to know to and to get the understanding of the class. We can use reflection API. But in this example, I'll be using reflection API to call this private method okay so now uh, how to call this private method so for sure whenever you want to call a method we need an instance so we'll create a instance not in a normal format we'll create an instance using a class concept so if you don't know uh, how to create a object using class concept you can search for a video in my channel which will describe the way to create an object using class so we'll say class C and we'll say class dot for name. And the class, uh, the, the object I want to create from a class, which is your test, so we'll say com dot navin dot test, because this test class belongs to a package called as com dot navin. Now what next we have? So once you got the uh, class, let's create the object. So I need object of test, so we'll say test t equal to. So in order, in, instead of using new keyword here or new, uh, test we can simply say it is class dot new instance okay now this class dot new instance will give you the c dot new instance will give you the object of object i need object of test so we can just type cast it so after type casting we got the object of test now see by default uh, we have this uh, method which is private right so in order to call the method we need to create a object of method class so we'll say method m equal to. Now what we can simply do is, here we can say c dot. So this c, which is an object of class, has a method called as get declared method. Now this get declared method will ask you for two parameters. The first parameter is the name of the method, which is show. So you have to define this method name in double quotes. And then you have to pass the type of parameters. Since we don't have any parameters, we'll say null here. Okay. And now let's import the package for this method. So in order to import the package, we can simply say control shift I in that means. So we need a method from this reflection API, this reflection reflect package. Now once you got method, so when you say this method, which is your show is private. So we are not allowed to access this. I want to make I want to make it available or accessible. So in order to make it accessible, we have to say m dot. We have to say set accessible. So there's a method called a set accessible, and we have to make it true. Now once we got the object, once we have made it accessible, now we can access. Now how to access this? So we can simply say m dot. So there's a method called as invoke. In this invoke, you have to pass two parameters. First one is the the object which is a uh, test here and you need to pass the parameters again we don't have any parameters so we'll say null cool so uh, once again we have this method m uh, we have an object of method which is m we made it accessible and then we are calling invoke by passing zero parameters or no parameters you just have to specify the object where the method belongs and that's it and now if you run this and bingo, it's calling this in show. That means we are able to call the private method. Then question arises, 
if you can call the private methods from using reflection, what is the use of this private? Because when you say private, we need to hide the behavior, right? We need, we need some privacy, we need some uh, secrecy. So what we can, so why reflection is able to call is because just for debugging. So we don't use reflection in the normal scenario. Okay, so we are using reflection here just to test a class. So that's how you can call a private constructor using reflection API. So if you want to know more about reflection API, so I'll be creating a, uh, the whole playlist on reflection. So do let me know if you need that uh, concept soon. And yeah, that's it from this video. Thanks for watching and do subscribe for the further videos.